Hoff, we're Wilson Fernandez here. You know what? We hope you guys and gals are killing it with your workouts, taking your supplements and your vitamins, training hard, eating clean, and saying your prayers. But you know what? We here at Nutrition Depot about to level up your training. But you know what? We here at Nutrition Depot are about to pick up this phone. Uh, we're Wilson Depot. I'm an intern. Needless to say, the most celebrated athlete of our time, of our generation right now, is the MMA fighter. They are lean, mean ass whooping machines that are the epitome of dedication and training. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna, I, okay, I did fall. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a world-class professional MMA fighter. And he has really nice soft skin. That, do we get that? He's, he's just, his skin is so soft. It just, I don't wanna choke him out, I just wanna, I just wanna hug him. He's gonna kick my ass. Oh my god, he's gonna <laughs> kick my ass. Please welcome Mark Mugen. Aww. What's up, bro? Really? No shirt? Really? Who wrote the f script? Really? We're here to work out, right? Yeah, we are. Wait, you gonna take your pants off too? My bad. My bad. But really? <laughs> Who wrote the script? Did you write the script? The girl, the girl did, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one MMA fighter in particular is making waves all throughout Asia, not just for his skill in the cage, but for his year-round insane physique. Ladies and gentlemen, this fine specimen right here, Mr. Mark Mugen, what's up, brother? Hey, bro, thank you for having me, man. Thank you, thank you for being here. Busy well, guy, came from Baguio. Not yet, I've been training in Baguio, but uh, yeah. come down to Manila a lot, so happy to be here. Awesome, awesome, all right. What, what made it click for you? Where was the part that said, I don't want to be a doctor. I want to be an MMA fighter. I want to put people in the hospital. Where, where, did, it, where did it turn for you? For me, I guess it started because um, I have an older brother, Frank. Okay. He's, uh, he corners me for my fights still to this day. Mm -hmm. And he started with martial arts when I was younger, when we were younger. He's four years older. So being the younger brother, you know, naturally I just followed him because I thought that whatever he was doing was really cool. Mm -hmm. You know? So he was wrestling, so I copied him for wrestling and then he did Taekwondo, I did Taekwondo, Aikido, I copied him. And then I just took it one step further and decided to make a career out of it. Nice, nice. Now, needless to say, we live in a world now where social media is huge. I've seen your uh, social media and um, it's insane. You have hundreds and millions of followers. <laughs> and uh, not just because of, of who you are, but I'm telling you, your physique is, is impeccable. <laughs> All right, I will admit that. Your, your, your physique is impeccable. How do you get that physique, is that just from regular training? Are you seriously isolating some body parts or, I mean, natural? Uh, take, take us maybe a week before your fight. Right, I mean, okay, well, I think with, with physique, you know, definitely there are genetics involved. Okay. You know, some people will just say like, oh, you're, you're lucky or oh, you're so lucky, you know, because some people have uh, faster metabolism, you know, and they can burn fat faster than others. Mm -hmm. um, me, for me personally, I'm somewhere in the middle. I, I, if I eat a lot, I will gain weight, um, but I can also lose weight very fast. So my diet before a fight is very clean. Like one week before a fight, I'm more focused on uh, losing weight and making weight for the, for the weigh-ins. Okay. But a month before a fight, um, I have very clean, structured diet where I'm eating all the boring things that you know nobody really enjoys, like mm -hmm. plain oatmeal, uh, um, sweet potatoes, uh, plain uh, steamed chicken and those things, right, you know. Right. So I mean, but it's yeah. all about balance, you know. So after the fight, I'll have my crazy cheat meals and I'll mm -hmm. go get my pizza and dairy queen right after. You know? Nice, good man. So basically, before a fight, don't hang out with you because your farts smell like hell. <laughs> but afterwards, then we can kick it with you, right? Protein, right? It's protein. <laughs> sure, it's a protein, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Supplement-wise, I mean, are you also mixing in your supplements and what in particular are you taking with the real food? Right, right. Yeah, you know, um, recovery, building muscles, workouts, of course, are crucial. But you can be doing the best workouts, have the most functional, awesome training, have great coaches, but if you're not getting your nutritional needs, if you're not, you don't have a good diet and you're not taking the right supplements, all those gains will go to complete waste. Mm -hmm. You know, you will not recover on time, you'll be completely burned out and just, your body will just slowly break down from all right. the workouts if you're just eating garbage food, right? Absolutely. So uh, with that said, uh, outside of my clean diet, I really use all the Venom Nutrition products. I'll, mm. uh, I'll take BCA, I'll okay. take the BCA shakes, those are your amino acids. These okay. are, uh, you know, uh, the building blocks, these um, help with your muscle recovery, um, protein of course. I'll take uh, Venom Nutrition's whey protein. Okay. 
protein is crucial. You have, after every workout, you have about a 30 minute window where you need to, to get good nutrition in your body. Whether it's, you know, whether it's a healthy meal or whether it's a protein shake, you have about a 30 minute window after your workout finishes. Interesting, why do you have a, th that's when the body is, uh, it best absorbs it. Yes, best absorbs that window. Yes, exactly. Interesting, yeah. I did so, not know that. Okay. Outside of uh, whey protein, uh, BCAs, I'll take L-carnitine okay. and, uh, and Shred. Those are the other two Venom products that I think are great. Uh, both are fat burners and they really help me the last month when I'm, uh, when I'm cutting weight before a fight. Because like boxing, MMA, we have uh, weight classes, so I need to hit that weight. Got it, okay. Now, of course, training is a huge part of what you do. I mean, we train months and months just for that glorious, whatever, 10 minutes of, of, of battle. But all that training, not every day you, you want to go to the gym. Not every day you can get up. Not every day you want to wake up, you know, your bed's comfy. What motivates you? And in addition to your motivation, what's helping you also supplement-wise right, right. to get over that hump? No, definitely, yeah, there's so many good sports quotes about that. That's the consistency part, right? Okay. That's, that's the difference between, uh, you know, a guy that's, you know, a journeyman and a champion because right. they have the dedication and consistency to, to get out of bed and go to the gym even on days when they, you know, they feel like crap, right? Exactly. But, you know, uh, even if you do that, there's still days when, you know, things aren't firing right and you're just tired, you're, you feel a little burned out and exhausted. Uh, days like that, yeah, I survive on uh, black coffee and pre-workouts, to be honest. Black coffee and pre-workouts. Black coffee and pre-workouts. Nice. Pre yeah. At I mean, the same time, you can combine those two. Not usually at the same time, um, but black coffee because, yeah, I, I don't, uh, I won't add excess sugar and I won't have excess cream. I won't have dairy just so I can uh, lose more weight, yeah. lose weight faster. Yeah. But uh, definitely uh, pre-workouts, uh, they pretty much the same as having a cup of black coffee. You know, okay. They have, uh, yeah, some people don't like the taste of coffee, so, and, and they taste, uh, you know, you have fruity, tasty ones, you know, mm -hmm. so a pre-workout's perfect for that. Awesome, any yeah. pre-workout brands in particular? Uh, Venom pre-workout. Yeah. yeah. I use yeah. Venom pre-workout, and uh, Shred also has caffeine content in it, so. Uh, sometimes I'll take Shred, and that'll kill two birds with one stone. That'll okay. be my fat burner plus my pre-workout. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, of course, with what you do, Weight is very important. Cutting weight, losing weight, gaining weight here and there. Um, how do you maintain that weight? Are you concentrating a lot on uh, weight lifting, or are you just using your own body weight, high reps? What's your regimen? That's a good question. Uh, mm -hmm. I do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I think as the fight approaches, you can't for fighters, for for mm -hmm. boxers too, for mixed martial artists and boxers. As the fight approaches, about you know. I don't know, one month, two months out, you can't be lifting too heavy, uh, too heavy uh, weights mm -hmm. because it will help your power, but you know, the, the drawback would be that you would become a little slower, right? you know? So um, closer to a fight, one or two months out, I'll do more plyometrics, more body weight exercises, uh, more um, you know, hitting my body hard for 20, 30 minutes tops and uh, completely uh, uh, getting myself, uh, you know, burn myself out, gas myself out quick, mm -hmm. um, get my heart rate up. Right. You know? hit that anaerobic threshold. But outside of fights, um, in the off season, when I have time to build my power and uh, strength, I'll be lifting heavier weights. Okay, yeah. there's, there's a time for both. It just yeah. depends uh, when the fight is. Squats, right? Yes. Always. Yes. Squats Always. are crucial. Yes. Squats, deadlifts, power clean. Don't forget leg day. Overhead. Say it. Tell people. Never forget leg day. Thank Don't you. be one of those guys. Don't, Don't be, be that dude. Don't exactly. be that dude. One last thing, what's your favorite quote? What gets you up? Favorite What's the quote. one you would put a tattoo on your rib right now? <laughs> Favorite quote. Go big or go home. Nice. That's it. Nice. Now I think if you're gonna decide on anything in life, go all in, don't half-ass it. Go 100% and get the job done. Awesome. Yes, and always own it. Yeah. Always own it. That's Mark Stop. Mugen, Revilson Fernandez for Thank Nutrition you. Depot. We Thank appreciate you, your time, brother. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. This has been Revilson Fernandez, rep in Nutrition Depot. We'll see you next time. Oh, one more thing. If you can always have an MMA fighter drive for you, have an MMA fighter drive for you. See you guys. <laughs> and guys, we'd appreciate a thumbs up down below. Really, really, we'd love you if you did that. And of course, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our cool episodes.